three, two, one, action. Hi, I'm Scotty Kilner. I'm just kidding, I'm Chris Carroll. I'm like the shitter version of Scotty Kilner. Today I'm going to show you how to change the rear pads on an Audi A4. Okay, just before we begin, I'd like to show you a few things that you're going to need to change your rear brakes. First of all, you're obviously going to need the rear brakes. Um, you can get them from all your good uh, motor spare stores. You don't really have to get the top quality ones unless you're a sports driver. Um, you're going to need a caliper wind back kit. On rear brake pads, they actually work on a thread. So what actually happens is when you pull your arm brake up, it turns it like a screw and goes back in like a screw. Um, so you might not need the push back caliper wind back kit, but then you have to use the uh, thread caliper wind back kit. It basically just winds it back like that, like a screw. Uh, then you're gonna need a wire brush, basically just to comb your hair a little bit. And you're gonna need some cable ties. Cable ties will hold your caliper up while you try to work on there without damaging the hoses. All right, everything else is pretty much standard. Mole grips, pliers, everything you'll need to do the job. Uh, so let's begin. Just for a bit of safety, I like to put the uh, tire under the car just in case it drops and squashes my legs. Alright, so now I've got the wheel off and you can see everything that's behind there. And as you can see, there's been a build-up of rust over the years on top of this, you know, with all the water obviously flying up at the wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wire brush and I'm going to take all this rust off. Basically, it just stops all the uh, squealing noises that you can hear from time to time on these older cars. And uh, you should really wear a mask because some of these older brake pads, they contain asbestos and you don't really want to breathe any of that in. Alright, so let's get this rust off. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these nuts out, these bolts out. Uh, they're just what hold this caliper on, which swings off so you can just get to the pads, really. Get your mole grips, because these inside will start to turn as you do it, and you'll be turning forever. So just put that on there like that. That on there like that. You want to turn it anti-clockwise. It's a bit awkward when you're doing it the other way around because sometimes it's hard to know which way anti-clockwise is. There we go, nice and easy. If you ever find that things aren't coming off and going your way, it's not because you're doing it wrong sometimes, just sometimes things are seized up. It can be very frustrating because you think, what the fuck am I doing wrong? That's that one there. Just make sure you keep your stuff safe because a lot of times I've lost stuff. Then you just take the second bolt out of there and this caliper just swings up. This one's been on quite a while so I guess I'm going to have to give it a bit of a tap and you'll probably see the brake pads just drop to the floor then. Yeah, that's, that's pretty tight is that so. Uh, I'll just use this screwdriver, give it a tap there. You don't really want to start marking that, you know, you want to be as gentle as you can with the calipers. Obviously, it's the thing that stops you from crashing and killing all your family. So, you can see, look, that's really tight. It's because it's been left so long, they leave pistons right at the end. There we go, look, look at that. What the hell's that? Would you like to take your family on holiday relying on that? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, get a cable tie out. Just rest that on there for a second. I should have really unclipped that. For... Okay, so what you do is just thread the cable tie up there. I just like to tie it onto a spring. They're solid of these springs, so they'll hold the weight of a little caliper. I'm going to put a couple of these on because you have to, if you start pushing them back, sometimes you need to, if there's nobody there to gear in hand, these cable ties can be a, a third hand for you, stalled in the weight of the caliper while you push it back. Alright. 
The video we see. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to wind the uh, caliper back. Just got a, from the caliper wind back kit, that bit there, you know, this just to suit the Audi one. That basically, there's two grooves on the piston. That just fits into there like that, you see. And that goes into these two holes here. You should be able to wind that back, but I don't know how bad it's going to be. That, get that all as far back as it can go and then it should just slide straight over the new brake pads. Alright, time to put the pads on. So that's the old pad, showed you already, that's the new pad, look at the difference. It's basically nothing left in that whatsoever. That's what it should look like. Alright, so with the uh, rattle springs facing outwards Okay, so now basically I'll just take this off if you remember I hooked this on, well I originally put cable ties on, I don't think you saw me, but I put this on afterwards because the cable ties were useless, probably cheap ones that's why, but just wrapped it up like that, just to stop the hoses from bending, snapping, damaging, obviously causing more work in the future. Now with the uh, caliper wound back, just quickly have a quick look at your hoses, make sure there's no fluid, nothing loose. When you get down the road rails, you've got to take your wheel back off to fix anything. All I need to simply do now is slide the caliper back on. These little nuts here, just on a little tension spring, so just push them in because it won't go back on otherwise. There you go. Slot that on there, as you can see. There we go. Yeah, bolts. So just put your bolts back through the holes, push them, line them up. Turn them clockwise, obviously. It's just basic. Putting it back how it started, that's all. There we go. Okay, well, I've checked the uh, foot pedal, I've checked the handbrake. All seems fine. Pulled it up, just checked it on there. Now, all you need to do is just put the uh, wheel back on. Give it a little run down the road just to double check, and then you're done. You may notice I've not shown you how to jack the vehicle up and take the wheels off and things like that but I see it like this, if you don't really know how to do that you shouldn't be attempting to change your brakes really. So, another job well done I'd say. Remember, if you've got any other car problems you'd like to fix yourself, you should visit chriscattle.com. On second thoughts, you may want to visit scottykilner.com. <laughs>